Hello guys and welcome, this is Faxi from Faxi Derp channel and I'm going to talk about the new changes in the Retro Talent, talent build. i uh, talk about how good they are on my <laughs> point of view and I'm going to talk about how viable they are in certain situations like PvE or PvP and stuff like that. So yeah, check it out, I hope you enjoy it and uh, maybe you will find this useful. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the first one we have is called Speed of Flight. Uh, increase your move speed by 70% for 8 seconds. That's 1 minute cooldown. It's a nifty little speed bonus you get uh, every 1 minute. You can use it for PvP and PvE, I guess, in some rare occasions. I wouldn't use it for leveling though, but yeah, it's definitely a nice little thing. Um, long Arm Law, that's my favorite to be honest. S successful adjustments increase your speed by 45% for 3 seconds. I'm definitely gonna use this one for leveling. Uh, every time you want to get or uh, reach fast into a mob, well, you want to use this. Except when it misses, of course. <laughs> and also in PvP, it's really nice when you want to get into your targets. Uh, definitely going to use that one myself. And the last one is Pursuit of Justice. We gain a 10% move speed at all times, and then we get 10% extra speed for every holy power we have. So right now, I got 110 now. And every time I get a, a new holy power up, I get 10% more uh, speed bonus. And that's pretty nice actually. Uh, I don't see me, myself, using it for <coughs> uh, PvE, but definitely uh, PvP it might be coming very, very, very handy. Whenever I then use my holy powers, my speed bonus is lost, and yeah, I only have 10% at that point then. Then Fist of Justice, it uh, replaces Hammer of Justice and we gain Fist of Justice, which is now a 30 seconds cooldown rather than having one minute cooldown. And that's pure for PvP, I would guess, and it's really nice. I mean, 6 seconds uh, stun, 30 seconds cooldown. That's really nice. Thank you, Bliss. Uh, the next one we have is Repentance. Used exactly the same way as uh, the old one we have. But now we are casting it rather than having a one minute cooldown. Now there's no cooldown at all, 30 yards range, and you can just spam it and spam it. Uh, on um, <coughs> on mobs, it lasts for one minute. On players, it lasts for, I think it's gonna be six or eight seconds. So you can easily throw around if you're in an arena. You can uh, go like this, sap one target, and uh, well. Then you can go on and set another target if you want that, because there's no cooldown on it anymore. And that's really a buff, really huge buff in my opinion. Very nice. And we have Burden Guild. Uh, that's pretty much what I wanted since vanilla. We can actually slow now, like every other single class in this game. We can slow with our adjustments. And that's really nice. And keep in mind, we can actually slow on range, because Adjustment slows the target now by 50% for 12 seconds. So imagine the kinding we can do. Holy shit. Thank you, Blizzard. Thank you. And of course, this is only for PvP. The next tire is Selfless Healer. Uh, our adjustments reduce the cast time of Flash of Flight and its effectiveness by 50%. Stacks up to two times. So every time I use Judgment, uh, my next flash of light will heal for 50% more um, <coughs> and have a 50% lower uh, cast time. And if I use Judgment two times in a row, it will be instant and heal for 100% more if I heal another target. You see now, if I heal myself, um, it's just gonna heal me for 12k, but when I heal him, it's gonna heal for 24k instant. And you can do that every 10 seconds because you have adjustment on 5 seconds cooldown. That's really nice. Now we have Eternal Flame. Uh, consumes up to 3 holy powers to place a protective shield. Lasts for 30 seconds and heals you for around 4k every 2-3 seconds depending on your haste. And that is really good. You can definitely use that in PvE but also in PvP being very very strong in my opinion. Um, sometimes it says 8k, I do not know if that is a bug, uh, or if it's crits meant to just be bigger numbers, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely a nice build. Uh, I mean, having that off for 30 seconds is it's definitely something I, w I, w I, w I would use for PvP. Uh, 
And then we have Sacred Shield, that is my personal favorite. Uh, we get a shield lasting 30 seconds, where we absorb nearly 6k damage. I think it's depending on your gear. See if this guy wanna hit me. Now he dodged. <laughs> well, there we go, I absorbed it. But you can only absorb damage every 6 seconds. And while you have this shield up on yourself, your Word of Glory have a 30% higher chance to, to crit on yourself or the target you put the shield on and that is really really nice for PvP and then we have Hand of Purity it um, reduces, reduces the damage on harmful periodic effects by 70% you see now the service thing only ticks for 600 instead of 2k and that's I guess that's pretty nice uh, I wouldn't use it for PvP though but it's, it's, it may come in handy definitely definitely and we have Unbreakable Spirit, that is one of my favorite spells, uh, talents, it's really nice. Every time you um, use Holy Powers, uh, you reduce the cooldown on Divine Shield by 1%. So let's say I use Divine Shield now, I have 5 minutes cooldown. Let's say I go and get some, some uh, Holy Powers up, and then I use them. I reduce the cooldown then by 3% on Divine Shield, and I can do that up to 50%. So after I spend uh, 50 Holy Powers, I would have lowered the cooldown on Divine Shield by 50%. So you can actually end up with having only like 2.5 minute cooldown on your Divine Shield. Wow, that is really nice. Um, then we have Clemency. When activated, immediately finish the cooldown on your, yeah, actually all your hands. Hand of Freedom, Protection, Sacrifice, and so on. So let's say we have all these on cooldown, and I press Clemency, boom, they're already again. And that's definitely, definitely nice. Wow. For PvP, that's, uh, that may come in very handy. And PvE, maybe, I guess, if you want a lower threat, or you want to use uh, Sacrifice on your teammates. And the last tire, Holy Amnesia, is actually the same as Chilotry, but this is just 10 times better. Abilities that generate Holy Power will generate 3 charges of uh, Holy Power, rather than just one. With all spells, not just Crusader Strike. So you see here, if I use Exorcism, which gives, usually gives me 1 Holy Power, I get 3 Holy Powers. If I use Judgment, I get 3 Holy Powers. If I use Crusader Strike, I get 3 Holy Powers. So that is insane both in PvP and PvE, and I might want to go with this because you can slow them down uh, with your adjustment if you choose that one and then you can just kite them and uh, use it and then spam adjustment on them and just gain 3 holy powers and heal yourself all the time uh, you can really heal yourself up a lot and also do shitloads of damage holy god and the next one is Sanctified Wrath. If you're holy, holy shark has no cooldown. Protection, Justman has no cooldown. And if you're Rattery, Hammer of Wrath has no cooldown. And that is insane for kiting. The damage, yes, that is very good if you're fighting in a class which is kiting you, like a mage, DK, Hunter, or whatever it is. Um, and also think about a Seiyu again. Uh, choose the. The talent where you can slow with your adjustment. So let's say you are kiting. Paladins can actually kite really, really nice uh, <laughs> here in uh, Mob Beta. Uh, you can just spam and spam and spam uh, Hammer of uh, Wrath. And meanwhile, you can slow them down with uh, what is it called? Uh, Burden of Guilt. And then you can just run around, adjust them, and slow them down, and then just spam your Hammer of Wrath. Holy shit. Meanwhile, you can also do X version, of course. And that's pretty insane. I think this will be mostly used for PvP because of the burst. I don't think it's that viable in PvE, but we'll see. I, I don't know, of course. Well, that's... Uh, it's gonna be fun trying that out and getting some kiting going. We have not been able to do that ever for the six years WoW has lasted. No, sorry. Seven years. I don't know. The last one is the one propose, and that's... Well, I'm sorry to say this, but that sounds pretty boring and bad. Abilities that cause holy power, that cause holy power, keep that in mind, have a 50% chance to cause a divine proposed effect. The divine proposed effect is the same as we had in uh, Cataclysm. So every time you use Word of the Glory, Word of Glory or you use Templar's Predict, you have a 50%, 15% chance to gain a free 
Templars Predict. Um, I guess it's good for PvE maybe, some stable extra damage now and then, but for PvP I do not see it being viable, simply because in PvP, for me myself at least, I want uh, controlled burst damage, not just some random procs now and then. I don't think that is viable at all. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, uh, Factor Derby ran out here, and the next video I'm gonna make is gonna be about our glyphs, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out that video. Thanks for watching, cheers!